Hi, I'm Greg Robinson from MyPhotographyShow.com and I'm here to critique this image that was sent in by Terry. Thanks Terry for this image, who says that it was shot in Namibia. He was looking for an opportunity to render zebras in stark black and white and like the triangular composition of the image. Right, well Terry, I really like what you've done here. Uh, what we're going to do is critique this image in three different parts. First one is going to be the settings and uh, mainly your choice in saturation and the colors. Okay. The second part is going to be uh, regarding the composition. And there we go, we'll see where we go from there. Okay. So let's get right into it. The first part, as I said, was setting. So you were at 160 ISO for a shutter speed of 1 640th of a second and f8 in aperture. Now, several things I have to say about that. First off, I would suggest going to your maximum closed aperture, which would be 100 ISO. Okay, you have the opportunity here to really. Uh, play around with the amount of light that was coming into your lens, it's quite extraordinary actually. So go up to 100 ISO, that way you've, you're absolutely noise free and you've got the best um, quality of image and also colour, even though this doesn't really uh, play around here because you're in black and white anyway, but your camera does render the best colours at 100 ISO, well the smallest ISO, for you Nikon users it will be 200 ISO, okay? In terms of shutter speed, you wanted to freeze the motion, freeze the action, which was perfect at 1 640th of a second. However, your aperture was at f8. Now, was this a choice of yours because you wanted a certain depth of field, which I don't think so, or was it to render the best kind of uh, image quality you could get in your image? I know that you were using a 300mm focal length, which is pretty pretty high I must say especially on a 7d which might render it something like a 450 millimeters which is huge therefore your depth of field must have been very very shallow um, on the other hand it depends if you were focusing on infinity and infinity or not so boy we can't really see in this image that's what's quite interesting actually compositionally we'll get to that in a second so either f8 to get really the best out of your lens um, or f slash 5.6 uh, if you needed a little more shutter speed, which I don't think was the case in, uh, in this image. Let's move on to composition because this is very, very interesting. As you said, we do get a triangle here. You can see plainly the image is uh, in a triangular motion like this. The reader would read it going from left to right, as we always do, because that's the way we read. Um, so, and from top to bottom. It's like reading a page. Reading a photo is like reading a page. My attention is mainly focused here, to what's happening here. It's a shame that we do not have... We're not on the other side of the zebras. That would have been gorgeous. Um, but otherwise, we do have these lines kind of guiding our eyes to seeing what's happening here uh, with both uh, back legs and behinds of the zebras which are kind of supporting the image from underneath so great going on that kind of composition however it is a bit of a shame that you cut off uh, the tail back here it's, it's, I find that a bit of a shame another thing I would have said well what about uh, I'm gonna try it here given that it's a JPEG and it's compressed and everything it might look horrible but what if I kind of push up the blacks uh, on this and maybe get a bit of details in the rocks here. Can you see it all coming coming together like that? It's looking pretty good. There, something like that. Now, uh, let me just move these settings out of the way. If I get those levels, use the brush, and I want to get rid of it um, around the zebras, obviously, and around the tree. On the top part, that's not too interesting. There we go, something like that. I find the image kind of pops a little more. We've got a little more base at the bottom. Do you see what I mean? We're really being uh, held by this position. However, we do see that the ground isn't perfectly um, aligned here, so we'd have to kind of tilt the image a bit this way for it to be perfectly parallel. And there we get our final image, as it were, uh, where you've got the ground here. Uh, really really holding our image like that with the two zebras going up in a triangular motion compositionally great as I said I would have preferred keeping that tail just over here it would have been a little more interesting I find for the viewer and just accentuating the ground another thing that would have been good uh, I would have suggested if it's all possible is to get really 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 low to the ground I see you're not too far there but you seem to be 
maybe kneeling down, I'm taking a guess here, I would have suggested uh, lying down on the floor completely uh, if you had the distance possible, if it was at all possible obviously. But if you could lie down and really get those rocks to be right at the bottom of the image there and then just kind of give them this majestic look as if they were really over the viewer then that would have created an even more um, interesting and intriguing and more impact in your image. Uh, but otherwise well done. So that's it for the critique. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thanks Terry again for having sent it. Now all you other viewers, I hope you've learned something today and it's your turn to send your images for a free critique on myphotographyshow.com. Don't forget to uh, become friends with us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter because we have lots of things going on there as well. I hope to see you soon. I hope to see your photos ready for critique. I will be delighted to do them. See you soon and have fun on myphotographyshow.com.